Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Wednesday, February 22nd, 2023. Alright, let's get started. One across. Bird sound. That's got to be a tweet. Let's see if we can build off of this. Ones who will give you a mouthful. And this is wordplay, so I don't think this is about someone giving you a complicated word to say. Ones who will give you a mouthful. Is this about a mouthful of food? Hmm. It's not like a utensil, is it? Is it tines? Like the tines of a fork? Hmm. Maybe it could be. Let's see if this is an I. Recovers. Is this about recovering from being ill? Painter Matisse. Uh, this should be Henri Matisse. Okay, so maybe instead of tweet, this could be chirp. And that would let us put in Henri for Matisse. Okay, so this actually starts with a C. Ones who will give you a mouthful. Hmm. This is probably an S. Malia to Sasha Obama for short. She would be her sis. Pronounced features of American craftsman style houses. Okay, I do know what an American craftsman style house looks like. They have kind of prominent porches and columns on the front. Pronounced features. Hmm. Musk of new cars. And this is wordplay, so it's not going to be about the smell of a new car. This has got to be about Elon Musk. He's been making a lot of new cars. So that means this is not Chirp, which we actually had a typo in. Okay, so this is going to be cheap instead, I guess. Okay, so now we can put in Elon. All right, so what was this again? Uh, maybe this is Eves? That seems to make sense. Recovers. Okay, that's going to be heels. Everything's finally coming together. Hmm. A mouthful. Diplomat. Okay, that's going to be an envoy. Oh, it's going to be chefs. Yeah, they would give you a mouthful of food. Wow, okay. Pumped. That's got to be psyched. I'm psyched we finally finished this corner. Let's see what this first probable theme answer is. A region in South America that's technically part of Europe. Ooh. That's interesting. South America, okay. Uh, it's definitely gonna start with French. Hmm. Uh, are these islands? What is this gonna be? Sweetie, that could be Hun. That's a sugar substitute. Next time someone tells Bronx girls to take off their blank, they can just say they're dressing like a congresswoman, AOC. Um, hmm. Uh, I wonder if that's hijab. Is that right? So that would mean this is not Hun. Sweetie. Hang in the balance. Shouldn't that be penned? Hmm. What is this? I actually haven't heard this quote before. Eminem song with a Guinness World Record for the most words in a hit single. 1560 in six minutes. I think I've heard of this before. I can't remember the name of the song though. Lion Sound. Okay, that should be a roar. Extra life in video games? That's called a one-up. Like some email filters. Hmm. Uh, I'm not sure what they're going for here. Activist Parks. That's going to be Rosa Parks. The A in AD. That is Anno Domini in the year of our Lord. Tamagotchis are digital ones. Those are digital pets. I remember having a Tamagotchi way back when. Uh, oh, this is Rap God. I have seen this before. And I think this is French Guiana. That's looking right. Like some email filters. I wonder if this is anti-spam? And this is hoops. 
Oh, she's talking about earrings, right? Oh, that's funny. Actually, I think maybe I had seen that quote before. De blank, you're welcome in Spanish. That is de nada. It's nothing. Saharan vipers, those are going to be asps. Southeast Asian noodle dish invented in a nationalist recipe contest. It's looking like it's going to be pad thai. All right. Mont Blanc for one. I do believe that is an L. Greek city renowned for its olives. Um, I imagine this has got to be Kalamata because there are Kalamata olives. Liquid that may be pumped. Hmm. Is this about a bilge pump on a ship? I don't know. Terrible twos EG. That would be an example of a phase. Lustrous fabric? I think that should be satin. Must be something I ate. Really though, an equivalent phrase. Is it? TV producer Chaken. Is this Irene? That name is ringing a faint bell. Hmm. Boy, this still is looking unfamiliar. M-I-R. None for me, thanks. Another equivalent phrase. It's not I'm good or I'm okay. Could it be I'll pass? Refuse to proceed. I think this should be balk. So... It ends in Mark? That seems a little weird. Hmm, what do we have up here? Dog sound, I guess it could be a bark. Small battery could be a triple A. Some music festival lodgings. So this is plural. Is there an S here? Don't overdo it. Another equivalent phrase. I think this should be Easy. Hmm. Shift or enter. That would be a key. So this is looking like it's going to be bark. Maybe this is RVs. I wish I had more thumbs to put up, e.g. That would be an example of a rave review. So this should be breast milk, right? Oh, we just guessed wrong on this name. This should be Eileen Chaken. Okay, yes, that would be pumped. Car company whose name roughly translates to rising out of Asia. I guess that's gonna be Kia. I've never heard that before. Be cheap, say, should be skim as a verb. There's the rub. And this is an exclamation mark clue. So we need something that is literally the rub. Um. Or maybe where the rub is? Would that be a spa? It might be printed on a placemat. I wonder if this is some kind of child thing. I would want it to be a maze or some kind of game. Hmm. African country with its own 13 month calendar. Hmm. I haven't heard of that. State in neutral. That could be idled. Blank of you? Hmm. It's not kind of you. Dissuade. Maybe that's deter. Chicago Hope actress Christine. Oh. Um. I know I've seen this actress's name before. Oh shoot. What is it? I'm blanking on it. Uh. I think I'll know it when I see it. They help you see at sea. I really hope this is periscopes. That does fit. It's kind of fun that it's coming up from the bottom. Brown University's mascot Bruno for one. Is it a deer or a bear? Hmm, maybe this is I beg of you. And this could be a bear. Uh, I wanna say it's like Lottie. Is it like this? That's looking vaguely familiar. And this could be Ethiopia. Nice. Loses one's temper. I guess that's just gets mad. 
Arab nation that's a top exporter of chipsum. It's looking like it's got to be Oman. And this is Costa Rica. So this is going to be another theme answer, right? Oh, it's actually going to be the revealer. Okay. Words sounded out by the ends of 20, 35, and 40 across. Guiana, Kalamata, Ethiopia, Anamatapia. Oh my god. Um, and Anamatapia. Oh god, I don't think I'm going to be able to spell this. And I was just looking up the definition of this word not too long ago. Uh, yeah, we should just do this on crosses because I'm going to guess and it's not going to be right. Let's see if we can do that. Telefono greeting. Is that alo? Like grapefruit or arugula? Um, I guess those would both be bitter. Onomatopoeia. Oh, man. Amy of Arrival. Okay, that's Amy Adams. Hold off from publishing as a scoop. That's when you sit on a story. Pig's Sound. Is it a snort? Thor's Father. That is Odin. Swell, an equivalent phrase. That should be Nido. Onomatopoeia. Is it IA? Island shared by two countries. Is that Timor? I know there's an East Timor. It hasn't sunk in yet. So we have N, utmost. Yeah, the utmost degree. Okay, it is O-E-I-A. What an amazing string of vowels. Okay, unappetizing drink. That would be swill. You drink this swill. It might be printed on a placemat. Uh, shouldn't that be kids menu? Oh, so this is skimp with a K. Yeah, why did I spell it with a C? Okay, so this should be kids menu. Salon specialist. Is this a waxer? That's a very specific job at a salon. This register is now open, an equivalent phrase. That's got to be next. It's bent while genuflecting. Genuflecting is kneeling in front of someone, so this is going to be a knee. Cat's sound will be a purr. Uh, what is this? Peeling potatoes, perhaps. Oh, if you're doing that, you could be on KP, on Kitchen Patrol. So much for that. Another equivalent phrase? Hmm. So much for that. I can't think of a good equivalent for that. Burn soother. Okay, that'll be aloe. Snake's sound is a hiss. Half of a trombone sound. I think this should be wa. Let's see. Horror director Roth. Yeah, that's Eli Roth. So maybe this is whelp. That's very modern parlance. So this should be loss, part of Los Angeles. Yeah. All right, let's throw this L in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right, a Wednesday puzzle in 19 minutes. So today's theme was about an onomatopoeia. So that's how you spell it, yeah. I wasn't brave enough to give it a stab. That is very, very tricky. All of these vowels at the end. And I wasn't sure what these vowels were going to be either. But yeah, an onomatopoeia is a word that sounds like the sound that it's describing. And if you look at the ends of our three theme answers today, they make onomatopoeia. And that's kind of all we noticed while we were solving. And I was looking over the puzzle after the solve thinking, boy, it would have been nice if there had been some actual onomatopoeias in the puzzle. And then I looked a little bit closer, and if you look at the north and south edges of this puzzle, that's exactly what we have. Look at this. Bird sound is a cheep. Lion sound is a roar. Dog sound is a bark. Snake sound is a hiss. Cat sound is a purr. And pig sound is a snort. Yeah, so we got six onomatopoeias to go with our onomatopoeia theme. I was very happy to see that. Yeah, that's definitely the cherry on top of this theme. There was some nice longer downfill today, 
I think Periscopes is my favorite, but there was also Kids Menu, Anti-Spam, and Breast Milk. Yeah, those were all pretty nice too. And I think my favorite wordplay clue of the puzzle was right at the beginning. Ones who will give you a mouthful for chefs. Yeah, they're not talking about this kind of mouthful. Onomatopoeia. Say that five times fast. Alright, well I thought that onomatopoeia theme was the cat's meow. I hope you enjoyed solving that one with me. I'm gonna be coming back at you tomorrow for the marquee themed puzzle of the week, the Thursday. And I think that's gonna do it for now. Alright, I'll see you next time.